Okay, um, this is an important update for Commander's Residence Raid. We are now able to acquire these uncommon card fragment boxes. 14 to 15 of them. So now I'm going to remove these from my inventory to my bank just to show you what basically occurred. Always good to see a new face. One, zero, three. Two for Corey go into a bar. Please note, I have removed both the uncommon and common card fragment boxes. Now we are going to basically K for CR residence raid. So basically, we are gonna see for ourselves how many can we acquire per character per run. Now, for those of you who like to do two commander's residence raid run per character the same day please note you yourself basically is missing out on double reward what do i mean by double reward the vanguard reward. you acquire ten thousand gold payment basically for the actual completion of cr then the following day if you do save one more run for the following day after reset you will acquire another 10,000 i have done this before it does work and if you do not trust my word at least save one of your characters and try for one day then try for the next day and see that i am not absolutely bringing any misinformation to you i've tried this before before patch one zero three and i am basically doing so again so basically currently i have killing grounds and limit and trial and gilly glade two available daily but there is no sign of commander's residence and commander's residence is this very date the 25th of February I am basically recording this and I'll be releasing this at least within the next two hours so basically you already get a whiff and now I'll just to briefly show you I have acquired all sets for the um Kaiso gears for my brawler now let's basically hop into I might have to dumb down certain things just to make sure that you can hear me but I'm not trying to go overboard with it because I've tried multiple times to keep the sound enough where my voice can be heard, but a lot of times it is not, and I've already received statements that my voice is not fully audible. There are sometimes it isn't, and there are sometimes it's not. So based on even where I reside currently, I'm trying not to basically increase my voice because I've tried within an apartment complex where it's not 100% a high rise, but it goes up to a certain feet. I think it's like five floors. So basically I have to respect others around me. Thank you. 
please, everyone, please remember to subscribe and click the like button if you like it. And if you don't, it's up to you. If you also click the dislike button, it's up to you. I'm not picky. I'm always here for any advice and opinions. I'm basically shunning away everyone. I do like the idea of basically getting advice from everyone that wants to absolutely grant me any good advice or any criticism regardless of being good or bad. I am not claiming myself to be the most perfect at being in this because I am not. I can enjoy playing with others regardless of what dungeon it may be. I do not like the idea of shun away all the people if I'm going to be a dungeon. I don't try to be a perfect dungeon runner but just enjoy the game with all this. No matter which guild you are of, or if you're not inside of a guild, I still accept each and every one as you are of. I'm not a picky person. I hope my voice is quite audible, so please, if by any means you cannot hear me completely this dungeon raid, please let me know. I tried my best in turning down the absolute volume for the music itself and also for the money thing. Special effects or whatsoever sounds that I do make or other crafts may make for them just and try to turn it down as low as possible. and then our next one can go afterwards and just basically do a repeated follow-up just to trigger the boss's attention just to make sure that the DPS group is absolutely capable of doing their attacks from behind the boss and other items that we basically have acquired. Magic Alloy, Evolution Core. As you can see in my Common Card Fragment Boxes and on Common Card Fragment Boxes. And thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and also click the like button. And also, I have 10,000 gold that I'm about to receive. And also, please pay attention to my instances. I still have one commander's residence. Let me absolutely increase the graphics temper. Some of you have basically stated that my image is not perfect, and I do agree, but a, whenever I increase the graphics, sometimes my graphics do basically look terrible, but if you want to see for yourself, it's up to you. And this is what Terra looks like for me. I can still move around freely, but whenever I enter any dungeons, it can be quite laggy. This is how in-depth 
I have a graphics card that is basically NVIDIA RTX GeForce 2080. And with also this RTX graphics card, um, there's a lot of ray, um, ray tracing that can be done, but I have yet to see Terra become that advanced in which we can have these characters look a little bit much more lifelike and realistic. But some people think that it's not necessary, which I don't mind. It doesn't matter, to be honest, but it will make it strenuous for others to play, if anything. But it should be at least an option within the um, settings for Terra, for those of us who have this um, graphics card to be able to use it. But I don't see it as a big deal necessary to use it anyway. Thank you all again for watching. Please click the like and also please click the uh, subscribe button as well. And thank you very much for watching.